Gervonta Tank Davis has never been one to back down from a challenge, and his recent response to Ryan Garcia's rematch callout certainly reflects his no-nonsense attitude. In a savage message aimed at Garcia, Davis appears to brush off the callout with a level of confidence that suggests he's unfazed by Garcia's challenge. Davis might not have responded directly to Garcia's catchweight proposal or the demand for a rematch, but his message sends a clear message of its own. Davis is known for his brash and bold personality, both inside and outside the ring. His silence on the specifics of Garcia's challenge could be interpreted as a calculated move to keep his cards close to his chest, leaving fans and Garcia himself guessing about his next move. The history between Garcia and Davis adds another layer of intrigue to this rivalry. Both fighters have been vocal about their desire to face each other again, and this latest exchange only fuels the fire. The boxing world is buzzing with anticipation as fans eagerly await Davis's official response to Garcia's callout. Will Davis accept the challenge and agree to a rematch at 144 pounds? Or will he choose to take a different path, leaving Garcia and the boxing community wondering what's next for these two talented fighters? Whatever Davis's decision may be, one thing is certain. A rematch between Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia promises to be an explosive and highly anticipated event that could reshape the landscape of the lightweight division. In the aftermath of the recent bout, Oscar De La Hoya didn't hold back during his interview with reporters, setting out clear terms for a possible rematch with Gervonta Tank Davis. Tank wasted no time, taking to social media to indirectly address Garcia and De La Hoya's remarks. Meanwhile, Shakur Stevenson also entered the fray, responding to Ryan Garcia's congratulatory message with a call-out for a future fight. But it's not just Tank and Shakur eyeing Garcia, there are other fighters eager for a shot at him. Stick around till the end of today's video to uncover who could potentially challenge Garcia for his crown. The victory by Ryan Garcia against Devin Haney this past Saturday has ignited discussions about a potential rematch with Haney, as well as a rematch with Gervonta Tank Davis, who handed Garcia his only loss last year. Garcia's impressive performance in defeating Haney by majority decision, thus ending the WBC super lightweight champion's undefeated streak, has sparked excitement among fans. Now, they eagerly anticipate a rematch with Davis, who also boasts an unblemished record in his boxing career. Ryan's promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, grew agitated when journalists probed about a potential rematch between Kingry and Tank Davis. While De La Hoya entertained the notion of a rematch, he emphasized that any future confrontation between Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis would have to occur at a specific catch weight. Their initial encounter, held last year, saw both fighters tipping the scales at 135 pounds and 135.2 pounds, respectively. Garcia's defeat at the hands of Tank in the seventh round of that match underscored De La Hoya's resolve for a rematch on their terms. Tank himself wasted no time in chiming in after the post-fight interview, expressing interest in the rematch via a tweet. Nevertheless, the likelihood of this rematch materializing remains uncertain. In his interview after the fight, Garcia subtly suggested a shift in his weight class preferences. Anticipating Tank's bout with Frank Martin, Garcia expressed doubt about Tank's victory. He remarked, I doubt Tank will triumph over Frank Martin, but even if he does, he won't face me. I'm shifting gears, not sticking to 140. I'm ascending to 147. It's impractical for me to stay at 140. I've never truly fought in that category. Physically, I can't even drop below 143. I've exhausted every method to make it work. Garcia narrowly missed the weight limit by a mere three pounds during his triumph against Devin Haney. As a result, despite his victory, he was deemed ineligible to claim the WBC belt. On the other hand, Kingry showcased remarkable power, asserting dominance over Haney throughout the bout. It's possible he's contemplating a move up to welterweight for greater success. Now, turning attention to the fighters who have issued challenges to Kingry following his win, First in line is Devon, setting the stage for a potential rematch. Interestingly, just a day after his son's defeat, Devon's father, Bill Haney, shared a video extending support despite the loss. 
Life's defeats pack a fiercer punch than any ring loss, so we refuse to glean excuses from them. We've achieved remarkable feats in the sport, and we're gearing up for more. Haney even hinted at a rematch, acknowledging Garcia's prowess and dismissing the pre-fight chatter about his stability, affirming Garcia's competence as a formidable opponent. Bill beamed with pride as he spoke of Devon, steadfastly asserting his status as the WBC champion. He pointed out that Garcia's failure to make weight effectively rendered him ineligible for the title, a fact he reiterated with conviction. Despite this setback, Bill's optimism never wavered. He stood firmly by his son, offering unwavering support both within and beyond the confines of the ring. He stressed the value of resilience drawing on his own experiences to illustrate Devon's ability to overcome adversity. To Bill, the defeat in the ring seemed insignificant when compared to the challenges they had conquered together. Bill's declaration exuded a proactive outlook, centered on resuming training and persistently pursuing excellence in the realm of boxing. He reaffirmed his dedication to supporting Devon with unwavering fervor, promising to uphold their partnership with unchanged vigor Lastly, he expressed a longing for solitude and time to gather himself following the recent occurrence. Shakur Stevenson recently showed interest in facing Garcia following his impressive performance. Stevenson, referring to Garcia as Sugar, publicly challenged him to a match. Garcia, fresh off a controversial victory over Edwin de los Santos, faced verbal jabs from Stevenson. Regarding a potential bout with Stevenson, Garcia remarked, He's been a hater since our amateur days. I'm eager to step in the ring with him. I guarantee I'll come out on top. I've sparred with him before. He's skilled, but constantly shows fear. In the realm of professional fighting, this matchup seems improbable. Shakur Stevenson remains in the lightweight division, despite his desire to ascend to 140 pounds. However, a compelling contender for Garcia's next bout could be Teofimo Lopez. Lopez Sr. Teofimo's father and coach showered Garcia with praise following his recent victory and even suggested a potential showdown in the future. Lopez Sr. taunted Devon's defeat, attributing it to karma catching up with him. He hinted at past instances where Haney might have unfairly benefited, such as weight advantages in fights. Additionally, he emphasized Garcia's potent left hook which he believed played a pivotal role in securing the victory. Without hesitation, Teo Lopez Sr. immediately challenged Ryan Garcia to a catchweight bout against his son, Teofimo Lopez Jr. He suggested that such a fight could be transformative and demanding, expressing unwavering confidence in his son's abilities. He stressed the importance of a fighter possessing diverse skills and styles to overcome his son, whom he considered a multifaceted and skilled opponent. Lopez's analysis sketches a vivid portrayal of the cutthroat boxing arena, where historical deeds and reputations wield significant influence over match results and public opinion. His direct challenge to Garcia for a catchweight bout not only reveals his tactical foresight regarding advantageous future matchups for his son, but also demonstrates his adeptness in maneuvering through the intricate dynamics of the sport's elite echelons. Meanwhile, Henry Garcia, father of Ryan Garcia, subtly suggested two additional contenders for Kingry's forthcoming 147-pound bout, hinting at the strategic planning and careful consideration involved in orchestrating his son's career trajectory. In the aftermath of the fight, Garcia Sr. rallied, exclaiming, It's time for Pitbull Cruz. Let's make it happen. He expressed eagerness to pursue a matchup, emphasizing that if Ryan is up for it, he's on board. However, Ryan conveyed his inclination towards welterweight, or possibly even 154 pounds. This hints at a potential clash with Sebastian Fundora. Henry Garcia also acknowledged Ryan's struggle to make 140 pounds, highlighting his natural inclination towards the 147 or even 154 pound divisions. This struggle was evident in his recent bout against Haney. Ryan Garcia's triumph over Devon came as a stunning upset, leaving many boxing aficionados astounded. With experts giving Garcia close to zero odds of winning, his victory was even more gratifying as it defied all expectations. 
Analyst Jim Lampley couldn't contain his excitement, labeling Garcia's win over Devin Haney as a monumental and exhilarating upset in the boxing realm. He emphasized the unpredictability of the outcome, praising Garcia's outstanding performance that rendered Haney virtually incapable of competing effectively, despite his favored status and superior boxing skills. Legendary trainer Teddy Atlas weighed in on Garcia's unconventional tactics, noting how they played a crucial role in his triumph. Atlas observed that Garcia's seemingly erratic behavior wasn't just a facade, it was a necessary element that propelled him to success. By employing psychological warfare, Garcia gained the upper hand over Devin, catching him off guard and exploiting moments of vulnerability. Despite appearing to only engage in certain rounds and spots, Garcia's strategy proved effective, luring Haney into a false sense of security and capitalizing on unexpected opportunities throughout the fight. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.